If you're running local language models and want a good interface for chatting with them, two tools worth looking at are LM Studio and Open Web UI. In this video, I'll walk you through how they compare in terms of features, usability, and performance. LM Studio is a desktop application focused on running GGUF models locally through a graphical interface. It's designed for simplicity with enough depth to tweak model behavior and monitor usage. Everything happens in the app. No browser, no setup beyond downloading a model and hitting run. OpenWeb UI, on the other hand, is a browser-based interface, either self-hosted or run locally. It's essentially a front-end that can connect to back-ends like Olama or LM Studio itself. It brings a more chat GPT style layout with support for multiple conversations, markdown rendering, image output, and even extensions like search or code execution if configured. LM Studio is a single install. You open it, download a model, and start chatting. You don't need to know anything about APIs, file paths, or system setup. It's one of the easiest entry points into local LLMs. Open Web UI takes a little more setup. You usually install Olama or another backend first and launch Open Web UI separately, either via Docker or local binary. The benefit is flexibility. It becomes a control panel that can talk to whatever LLM backend you're using. LM Studio focuses on local performance and giving you detailed insight. Things like VRAM usage, token count, quantization type, context size, and temperature. It also makes model switching seamless and supports full offline use. Open Web UI is more feature rich in terms of UI and conversation flow. You can rename chats, view history, format output nicely with Markdown, and even upload files to parse if you're running advanced backends. It also supports plugins for retrieval augmented generation and multi-model models, assuming your backend supports it. If you're mostly working alone on a single device and want quick access to local models, LM Studio is hard to beat. It's simple, direct, and works out of the box. If you want to run multiple models, share access across devices, or build a more customizable setup, Open Web UI is more adaptable. It's especially useful if you're combining different tools, for example, using Olama for inference and Open Web UI for the interface. I use LM Studio when I want to test different quantizations or keep everything self-contained. Open Web UI is my choice when I want a richer interface or need to access my local models from another device. Both are solid options. It really comes down to how much control you want and how much setup you're comfortable with. Try both and see what fits your workflow. If this helped, feel free to like or share it. Let me know which setup you're using or what questions you've run into.